Hello Crafty Budgeters and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become jet free. You already know what it is. It's Cash Stuffing Sunday. This video is about to be lit. This video is about to be hype. This video is about to be fire. Y'all, how's it going? It's been a minute. Yes, I know, I know, I know that I was supposed to be doing a video yesterday, but your girl just did not. I did not. And you know what? I, as I was laying on the couch watching my shows, which we'll talk about in a minute, I just thought that maybe February for me was just a chill month in regards to videos, in regards to like not doing my weekly check-ins, not doing my budget setups because, you know, January was a really, really busy, rough, a lot going on in January. And I think I just needed February to be like a reset and just to focus on just a few videos and so you know I was gonna bring the cash stuffing videos to you I added in some other ones last week I'm still gonna do the extravaganzas but you know what I think it's just best for me to be like for February I'm just not gonna do the setups because Saturdays I literally am just like catching up on life and sleep and just hanging out with my son and those are important like figure out what's important to you and make that work whatever that make whatever that means and for February I'm just gonna do it this way but that does not mean for March I'm not gonna come back and start back up strong with my budget setups with my weekly check-ins because I definitely think it's really important because it gives us the foundation for doing all of this but yeah I just didn't do it and it is what it is so if this is your first if this is your first time watching one of my videos hi how you doing welcome my name is Brittany I am working to get my family out of our six figures worth of debt and we are doing damage to that debt each and every month each and every week you will see I stuff for my debt snowball um, if you enjoy cash stuffing videos paying off debt doing a budget all of that jazz make sure that you like and comment to this video make sure that you subscribe to the crafty budgeter fam we have fun over here. I feel like I missed a signature part of my opening and see this is what happens when you don't do videos for like once every week but y'all will let me know if I miss something or I'll see it in the edit edit but anyway we are about to get started we are stuffing I don't even know hold on let me look at my and normally I have my my little tracker sheet I don't even have that just falling short we are stuffing eight hundred and forty three dollars today are you ready let's go again these are from rose forever new york i will put my discount code down below beautiful have a nice scent and smell to them so you will see them throughout this month and maybe i'll change it up each month like add something new something different don't worry sebastian and snaps are still hanging out with us so just take a little break right like maybe you they need a little bit of a downtime too so we, we brought out our roses and y'all have been asking what i named my wallet now this is actually an agenda it's the louis vuitton pm small agenda it comes with the rings and everything and I just have forgotten every week so I made sure that I looked back at the comments of the name suggestions and I decided to name this beaut Monet y'all isn't that a good name for Monet but it's Monet Monet and I will be rocking it I really like it I've gotten a lot of feedback on it and <laughs> I did a reel with it on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram here's my Instagram handle follow me on there and someone was like, oh, you only got a couple hundred dollars in your envelopes, but you spend $600, $700 on this wallet. Wait a minute, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, if you do not know me, um, I got this for $180 pre loves from Macari. Your girl wasn't spending $600, $700 on a wallet. Also, the wallets aren't even that much. They're only about like $300, $400, which still is a lot, which I wasn't paying, but I had to I had to come I had to tell him about himself real quick real quick just just a real quick anyway let's get into it I'm so excited do I have story time for y'all I don't know maybe we'll see we'll see how today goes so let's see where we are with our envelopes I can't do my full run because I don't have every envelope 
stuffed. I, I went over actually in groceries and my eating out had to like cover some of it and some of the other categories had to cover some of it. It is what it is, it happens. But I do have some in personal, I do have some in gas, and I have some change in this. So I did have $35 in personal, but y'all, I finally paid for my envelopes that will be coming. So I'm so excited about that. And I took it from personal because I mean, it's for a personal reason. So for gas, I have five, six, seven. Also, gas is just crazy right now. It has gone from like th where I live, it was like 360 something. Then I went to 377. Now it's $3.84. Y'all, we're about to get up to $4. I know depending on where you live, you probably are already at $4 and hopefully not even 5 But ugh, it's just crazy. It is crazy right now with the gas. But your girl needs to get around, so we will still keep stuffing it. And we have $3 left for miscellaneous. And we have $1.68 in change. Remember, we went over some in some categories, so I don't have a lot of change left over but I'm grateful for this you, you know what we'll do we'll put it to the side we'll get ready for it in a minute and then let's see how much we have left over remember last week we had over a hundred dollars yeah that's not happening this time five six seven eight nine ten eleven I also forgot my lunch when I went downtown to work and I had the lunch ready to go it was on the counter get in the car get ready for get on the train and realize I forgot my lunchbox well, it's like, a, I, I feel like when I said lunchbox, I'm like five, but it's little my like lunch handle. I don't even know what you call it. I guess it's still lunchbox. And so I had to treat myself to Chipotle. I, I did treat myself. So that's where some of the money went. It is what it is. So this is what we have over. Y'all, this is the first time we won't have anything extra to put to our 100 envelope challenge because you know what happens with the fives and ones. We'll put this aside. It will go towards our debt. No, it won't. It will go towards our, um, what's it called? Um, savings challenges. So let's get into stuffing this wallet. So groceries, ugh. so groceries is getting $100 standard, $100, which it's not actually standard. Before I would give myself like $115, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see how we do this week and then that'll determine how we'll fix the budget moving forward. Eating out is getting $50, the normal $50, so that's going here. Personal isn't getting anything. I Since I used all of my money last week, um, I decided, you know what, I don't really need anything this week. My husband gets his own personal money, and so I wanted to make sure I sent him his money, and I don't need, like I said, I don't need anything. So nothing, nothing in there for personal, which is, whoo. Yeah. Gas is getting $250 for $100. And then miscellaneous is getting $15, which is the normal. So $10 and five ones. Uh, is this it? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, two. Snap. Hold on. Two snaps. There we go. So $15 in personal. I mean, in miscellaneous and our wallet is stuffed here we go starting off the week strong so the next thing that we're going to do is our savings challenges so um first of all we got to put the change in here so that was the remaining change that we had is it this no, it's this one. I'm sorry. That is for our zero out challenge. So here is the dollar sixty, yeah, sixty eight that we're putting in here, and then I might as well. Oh, that's fine. So coin challenge. It's a dollar. 68 y'all I don't, I don't think we're gonna get to the nine dollars and 95 cents but we'll see we'll see zero out challenge so the zero out challenge we are giving it's 58 dollars and fifth and how many cents i think 25 hold on let me make sure i have it right and 87 cents so um zero oh i forgot to erase it darn i erased all the other ones okay so then so this is week one 
So then it was 58.87, so that's week two. And then I'll erase it and put it all on there. So 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So $58 is going in here. You know, this is one of my favorite challenges that I'm doing this this year. Is that right? Yep. So here it goes. Here is the 87 cents. So we're putting that in here. All right, so that one's done. The $1 and $5 challenge. So we are putting one $5 bill and one, two, three, four, five, six, six dollar bills in here. So we're adding this in and we'll count this at the beginning of the next month. So at the beginning, the first pay, cash stuffing Sunday of the month, we do a check-in to see how we are doing and then moving the money out so it's not like we have all of this money in this binder every week. The weather challenge we aren't doing because it's only the first of the month. And then the next one is our health is wealth, which I am drinking water, which I am doing very well on that. Y'all, I am got my 32 ounce water bottle. I got my, um, Mio that I'm using and I'm really trying to be cognizant of drinking more water. I also decided for Lent that I want to challenge myself to continue on with this challenge. So you'll see this challenge next month as well leading up to Easter. Um, and then I do want to add in some workouts for that as well. I'm going to be doing a uh, daily 40 day devotional with my church that I um, stream into. So I can't believe next week already is thinking about the Lenten season. And I really wanted to do the Daniel fast, but because your girl, I don't know if you know this, but fun fact, your girl's allergic to 10 different foods, all dairy, all nuts. Um, I'm allergic to soy, allergic to oats, coconuts, like all of that jazz. And when I looked at the fast, like many of the things that you can eat, are those and so I decided that that wasn't going to be the best for me but I do want to incorporate water I want to incorporate working out and then I definitely want to do my the 40-day devotional with the church and it's all about the nine different fasts in the Bible um for those that you of you that don't know I'm a Christian not not saying that you need to be one to watch my videos but being a faith is really important to me and how I live my life. And so, um, yeah, I'll be kind of talking about my just journey over the next 40 days when Lent starts and just the things that I am noticing and feeling and just being led to. There's a lot of different things that I have on my heart that I want to do in regards to sharing, continuing to share my journey and continuing to inspire and motivate people with budgeting and paying off debt. And so I think this is a perfect time as I am really thinking about the next steps with my life in regards to just this ministry that I feel like I've been able to create and share and inspire and motivate others. Yeah, I'm just really excited for this time and it'll be a time of just like prayer and reflection and yeah, keep me in your thoughts, y'all. I, I have a lot of things that I want to do and um, yeah, I think it's just going to just push and shift me in a different way. So based off of that, we're going to now go into adding $6 in for our savings challenge for that. I'm really, really proud of myself. If y'all know me, you know I do not drink water. It's just not my thing, but having this goal and knowing the importance of it has really helped. So we are done with our savings challenge binder, but now let's go into our 100 envelope challenge. So this is the 100 envelope challenge. This is the box where we, upside down, <laughs> where we add all of our envelopes in here. And y'all have been loving those. Shout out to Cynthia and Cassie creates in their channel for creating these envelopes for me so the numbers we are stuffing today I think we are stuffing let me see a total of let me see let me see $189 for our challenge so we're going to be doing 88 
87 and 14. 88, 87, and 14. Here we go. Y'all, not that many this week, but that's all right. That is all right. We are still going hard on this challenge each and every week. Anything better is better than nothing. You know my model, so I'm really grateful. And my side income uh, stuffing where I do my Etsy and my YouTube check, you know, most of it's going to go towards that, but then the remaining will go all towards this challenge because we have a goal that we are going to um, put $5,000 to an emergency fund as well as $5,000 in a one month ahead fund. I would love to do that in six months. If it doesn't happen, that's fine, but you set goals to just give yourself motivation. And so we'll see. We are also just really doing really good and putting damage on this challenge and I'm really grateful. So let's do 14. 14 is going to get 10 and four ones. Oh, look at that. Two snaps for that. 87 is going to get 50, 20, a 10. Do you see this? Y'all, you probably were talking about this the whole time. So my husband, before I started recording, came in, Mr. Crafty Budgeter, and he always just likes to ugh, pretend like he's about to record a video. And so he had all of my money and was like playing around with it. And I told him to put it back. And I thought he put it back the right way. And clearly he didn't. You see, this, this, is what, this is what happens. But you got to love Mr. Crafty Budgeter. Uh, listen, that's my heart right there. So, all right. So five and two ones. The grandparents um, took Trey yesterday, and so Mr. Crafty Budgeter and I had some time just with one another, and it's just, listen, you, in a marriage, in a relationship, you need time just to, to be with one another, and especially when you're, like, parents and are dealing with your children each and every day, which I'm not, I don't want to say dealing because that sounds weird, but like taking care of your children every day, giving them everything that they need, emotionally, physically, spiritually, but also like sometimes you lose sight of just like the love, I don't want to say the love, but like just the, the, the bond between your husband and you or your partner and you. And so it's just nice to have those times each month where the grandparents take Trey and and Mr. Crafty Budget and I, we go out on a little date, which is literally nothing big. We like sometimes we just order in, or sometimes yesterday we went and like sat down someplace and ate, and we watched TV together. And, yeah, it it was just it's really nice. It was like we were dating again, and my my heart was getting all like choked up, and I was getting butterflies. I was like, what in the heck is going on? See, this is when you know you need to like put more time into just maybe date nights or something. But yeah. It, it was, I'm very grateful, very great. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 87 right here. And then for 88, whoop, it is 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. So $88 right here. And these three envelopes will go in our box and we'll be ready to go. All right. It's getting stuffed. It's getting stuffed. Let's get it stuffing. Yeah. Okay, Brittany. That was definitely not. <laughs> you know I always have to like randomly sing stuff. Alright, so let's move this stuff here. Uh, before we go into our dead snowball, when I said yesterday I literally sat on the couch all day and watched TV, that's exactly what I did. I don't get a lot of time. I have a three-year-old, so most of the time when he's home, when I'm home from work, we watch like stuff he wants to watch. Lately I've been watching the Olympics. Y'all shout out to the two woman bobsled team from the USA. Sylvia Hoffman was the break woman for that team and they got bronze, y'all. Now I can say that like I know an Olympian. I know an Olympian. So shout out to Alana Myers-Taylor and Sylvia Hoffman from the United States who won the two women bobsled team. Like just 
so grateful and so excited for them bringing home the bronze. We didn't do that great this, this year in the Olympics, but it was subpar to me. It was subpar. I can't say I'm like, it was like, yeah, I, it, it just was okay. But I did watch every night I supported. But when I wasn't watching the Olympics, y'all, yesterday, I spent the whole day watching on Netflix. It was like a Netflix day. Sweet Magnolias. It's season two. Y'all, any other Sweet Magnolia fans in here, let me know what you thought. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but like, what did you think of some of the parts? I'm not going to say, but like the main parts of like, who the daddy is and all that stuff and I also watched started watching um the second season of love is blind let me know if you watch the, that as well who do you think is going to make it I yeah I, I don't want to give spoiler alerts either but in your comments if you watch one of those two shows Sweet Magnolias or Love is Blind, let me know what's happening. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm also an All-American fan on Netflix. If y'all, or CW, but um, Netflix has it as well. If you're an All-American fan, they are coming out with the, like, I guess, second series or whatever. It's called All-American Homecoming, and it's with the girl, um, Simone, which I'm like, how come she got her own series? Which I'm not saying she ain't good, but, like, I, I really like Spencer and Layla and all them. So we're, we'll watch that tomorrow. So those are all of my shows that I've been watching just to keep y'all up to speed on my life. But it was just so nice to just do nothing, sit on the couch and watch TV and not have to be interrupted. If you have a toddler, any child, you know what that means to like just try to watch a show and you get interrupted. So debt is getting $300. We have a goal of a $1,800 debt snowball, including what we are putting with our, um, what's it call it, our side income. So one, ooh, crisp, I say this every week, crisp. You know what, when I say crisp, Mr. Crisp, makes me think of Sister Act. I think it's the second one, and there was the Mr. Crisp, and he was like trying to not get them to be, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hundred dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, eleven hundred dollars. So we are seven hundred dollars short. Well, we'll get there. We still have another uh, cash stuffing sound day. We still have another, um, we have the side income. And you might be thinking like the debt snowball should be with the money that I'm putting from the budget each week from the paycheck. But Remember, I am focusing a lot also on the 100 envelope challenge so I can get that emergency fund together. So I'm kind of splitting it up a little bit, but we're going to still make it work no matter what. At the end of the month, I will always have $1,800 $1, in debt snowball to go towards our goal. So moving on towards our, what's it called it? What is it called it? Moving on to our sinking funds. So the Crafty Budgeter is getting $5, y'all, which I got to move some of this over because my girl Brianna from Brianna Life and Budgie, it's Breezy's Budget Shop, I think is her Etsy uh, name, did stickers for, hold on, let me get it. Let me get my thing. She made stickers for the Elevated Life Co book so the stickers will go on the month i believe it'll go yeah it's awesome here's a picture of what it is also if you're interested in the elevated life code book we are doing a black black friday we are doing a black history month sale that if i believe it's hold on let me make sure i say the right thing because i don't want you to give i don't want to give you wrong stuff and then y'all be mad at me so we are doing a Sale for 10% off of the workbook duo. And all you have to do is use the in the checkout BHM for Black History Month and you get 10% off. Y'all, we are almost sold out of our books. So if you really want one, I would say like hurry up and get one because we're almost sold out and we're gonna have to wait to get it restocked restocked. So to use the 10% off code right now. BHM for Black History Month, y'all. This is a Black-owned small business, and we have just loved every minute of this workbook. Now, there are things that we are going to be changing for the next restock. We are going to be adding in some stuff and changing things around based on your feedback, but 
to start out in December and to already be almost sold out only a couple months later is just a blessing and that's because of you. So thank you in advance for all of the support. And yeah, if you're interested, I would get one now. 10, 15, 16 for the Crafty Budgeter. Blessings is getting $5. So Blessings now has $15, 5, 10, 15. Beauty is getting, I believe, $5. Because you know what the goal is. It's going to happen one of these days. I need to make an appointment. That's why I'm trying to find a hairstylist that will know what I want and do it the way I want. Like, I hate when I go to a hairstylist, I'm like, I want it to look this way, and then they do it, and I'm, like, pissed because I just spent all this money and it's not what I want. Since I'm doing, like, a huge cut, I want it to be a certain way, and so I'm really trying to find the right place to do it. So, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So, $54. And this all amounts to $30. So I'm doing $30 in the sinking fund. Car is getting a dollar. So it's going here. Clothes is getting a dollar. 5, 10, 11, 12. Also with the new envelopes, I changed around some of the categories. So you won't see some of the same ones when I get the new ones. I'm just, I kind of reevaluated, like, what are the ones that I actually use and what are the ones I don't? So, Christmas is getting $4. So now Christmas has 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So $46 in Christmas. Family fun is getting a dollar. So one, two, three, four, five. Home is getting a dollar. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Gifts is getting a dollar. Y'all, when I tell you, remember last week it was leading up to um, well, actually, I don't know if I told, I think I did tell you it was Valentine's Day and the daycare you had to send in like 24 different Valentine's Day cards. Well, your girl, after the, doing the video and everything, I was up late cutting, pasting, doing different stuff. You know, your girl has to go like all out. Here's a picture of what I did. I loved it. I even got like a battle scar when it was my cutting machine. Um, I cut my, I like sliced my finger open. Anyway, there was blood and everything, but we got it together and, um, I loved it. My son came home with a bag full of cards. And I have to say that I think mine was in definitely in the top three. Like, I'm not biased, but the one that had, like, the most creativity, that was your girl. That was your girl. And it's pretty much because I waited too long and I forgot to get the, like, just easy write your name on him. But, I mean, if the crafty budgeter isn't crafty, for, doesn't have a name crafty for no reason, right? 10, 20, 21, 22. Medical is getting a dollar. So medical now has one, two, three, four, five, six. That was all over the place. Sorry about that, y'all. Trey has a dollar in there. So five, five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five. 55, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. I just love that his has the most in there. Like that literally just does my heart good every time. Transportation is getting a dollar. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and most of this is going to be going because I gotta um, add to my card. Yearly subscriptions is getting a dollar. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then last but not least, travel is getting a dollar. So now travel has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm already thinking about the summer and our trip. We do have a like vacation club that we pay into. Y'all don't, let's not even talk about it. Um, and we have four nights, five day, four nights in uh, Orlando at Disney. And well, it's not at Disney, but in Orlando. And I'm trying to decide two things. If we should take my son or should it be a just like trip for my husband and I of like a, yay, this is our time. 
Oh, and, or should I take our son? Or, well, and, should we fly or should we drive? Y'all, if you've driven, no matter where you are from, but if you've driven to, to, I don't know, to Florida, depending on, it, it's a, it would be a significant drive. It, it's like more than 12 hour drive to, from Florida, to Florida. Um, what do you think? I think it would be fun to do like a road trip. Not with my son. Like if my son went, we're definitely flying. But I was looking at the tickets and it's still pretty expensive. Like the flight would be, I don't know, probably close to a thousand for my husband and I, including my, and that's not even including my son. So like, should I use that for, and then just put it to gas and then we could like do stops along the way. I haven't decided, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I still have a little bit of time. So y'all, that is it. We stuffed our envelopes we stuffed our savings challenges i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure that you like and comment if you aren't subscribed to the crafty budgeter fam what are you waiting on hit that subscribe button we have fun over here if you are enjoying all of this like i am just enjoying spending every week with you and thank you for those that continue to come back thank you for the new subscribers Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great rest of your day. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>